Algebra 2, 4.7a, Linear Inequalities, Boundary, and Half Plane. If you haven't seen the previous videos for Chapter 4, you may get confused. And there's links in this video's description so you can watch them quickly. An inequality in two variables is a linear inequality. The solution would be an ordered pair, x and y, that would make the inequality true. We substitute the values of x and y into the inequality in alphabetical order to show it's a solution. The graphs of linear inequalities in two variables can be used to solve many problems, such as maximizing or minimizing quantities. That's making the quantities get bigger or smaller. A boundary is a line that divides a plane. It's a boundary line. A half plane is one of the two regions separated by the boundary. So it's like a tennis court or a basketball court or even a football field. It's got a boundary line right down the center, see, that's splitting it. And then that would be a half plane or that would be the half plane. It's one of the halves, okay? When you see a dashed line, like this one has this dashed line, it's not a solid line. That's the boundary line. And this blue region is the half plane that's included in the solution. It's got this dashed line because all the points that are on the line are not part of the solution. To graph the inequality y is less than x, we first graph it as y equals x. Now this is going to separate and make the boundary of points that will satisfy the inequality from those that don't. And it's drawn with a dashed line to show the points on the line are not part of the solution set. So here's our line, our boundary line, and all the yellow part is where y is less than x. So any point that's in the yellow section, the yellow region here, is where y is less than x. Above the line, the points for y are greater than x. Below the line, the points for y are less than x, and since that's what we were trying to find, it makes it true. We shade in this region to show it makes the inequality true, okay? So, if it's a dashed line, it's not included in the solution. If it's a solid line, that means it is included in the solution. All the points on that line are included in the solution. And the graph of any linear inequality in two variables is either a half plane or the half plane and the boundary included. We can graph 6x minus 2y is less than or equal to 12. We can solve for y. So we set it to solve for y. So we add a negative 6x to each side of the equation to isolate the y and we get minus 2y is less than or equal to a negative 6x plus 12. We can divide each term by this negative 2 to isolate the y, and we get that y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 6. Now you notice that I flipped the sign? That's because I divided by a negative. We also could have multiplied by the reciprocal of negative 2 as negative 1 half, and because multiplying by a negative, we would have still had to flip that sign, okay? Y is also equal to 3x minus 6. See, it's greater than or equal to. So we use a solid line because it's or equal to. It's included. Any point on or above the line is a solution, including the points on the line, see? We can also graph it using the intercept method, and we can set x to equal 0, and plug it in and find out that y would be a negative 6, so we've got one ordered pair, and we can set y to equal 0 to find x and find out that x equals 2, and now we can plot those two points at the intercepts for y and x and draw our line. We know which half plane is a solution by testing a point. You usually point, use the origin 0, 0 as your testing point, so you try solving it, plugging in 0, 0 into the inequality, and if 0 is less than or equal to 12, yeah, it's less than, it's part of the solution. If this is true, the origin is part of the solution, and we shade in the half plane that contains it. 
So the origin is 0, 0 right here. If it's part of the solution, then that's the part that we shade in. If it wasn't part of the solution, then we shade in the part that doesn't have the origin. See? Now take a look at this one. It says graph minus 1 is less than y, and y is, great, is less than or equal to a 2. Now that word and in the middle tells us that this is a conjunction of two inequalities. And it'll be true for any value of y that's greater than a negative 1 or less than or equal to 2. And our graph will be an intersection of the graphs of the two inequalities. y is going to be equal to 2. Well, it says it's less than or equal to it, so we use a solid line because it includes 2. And y is greater than a negative 1. It's not equal to it, just greater than it, so it doesn't include the negative 1, so we use a dashed line on the negative 1. See? It didn't give us an x variable, did it? It just is comparing y. So we know it's going to be horizontal lines bisecting the y-axis at 2 and negative 1. We shade in the region that contains the points that makes the inequality true, and that would be in between the two lines. See? Okay, our next video is 4.7b, and we're going to talk about how to graph inequalities and find the vertices. So I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist so you can use it to catch up, review, or study for tests. And there's going to be links to Algebra 1, 9.5 and 9.6 inequality in two variable videos because I taught this back in Algebra 1. So if you want a little extra, then you can go to those two videos and see how I taught it. And maybe between these videos, you'll completely understand, okay? And those links will be in this video's description, all right? Okay, I'll see you next video, and we'll talk vertices. Bye.